Back tonight as the city of Tuscaloosa is putting a new effort into the school system, making sure pre-K classrooms have the funding they need. CBS 42's Tim Reed tells us how some are being affected. This morning, Mayor Walt Maddox and Superintendent Dr. Mike Daria took a tour of a pre-K classroom here at Arcadia Elementary School. Both leaders are celebrating the fact that the city is getting more funding for pre-K. Mayor Maddox and Dr. Mike Daria spent the morning walking the hallways at Arcadia Elementary. Okay, let's see what else the teacher helps us do. They took a tour of the pre-K classroom to visit the young students and their teachers. The celebration is all a part of the one cent sales tax increase from the Elevate Tuscaloosa plan that puts money in pre-K classrooms. For years, we have funded the Tuscaloosa Pre-K Initiative. And this year, the city of Tuscaloosa took a bold step under Elevate Tuscaloosa to continue and to expand funding of an amazing program that is making the difference. Maddox tells CBS 42 News the city is investing $350,000 per year into the pre-K initiative program and that number will continue to increase. That funding allows us to focus on our priorities and through the course of time with the right funding to focus on the right priorities, we're going to begin to see the changes that we need so that all students of our school system are highly successful. Four, Four words in that right. title, right. right? Mayor Maddox says his goal over the next 10 years is to have universal pre-K in the city. But what's happening across our state is that local communities are taking up that challenge. This is an all student approach, not just some students, but each and every child of the Tuscaloosa City Schools. The one cent sales tax is expected to generate $500 million in revenue for the city over the next 10 years. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Tim, thanks.